if my brother over here is walking with the spirit this is what is going to happen he needs to cause the spirit to lead him you get what i'm saying now? if the spirit is leading you and then you are following this is what's going to happen now where he goes is where you want to go but there is a point where you will tell him i want to go to this place okay that is where you want to go okay immediately you take the lead he will come and then take the lead for you and once he's leading look at what is going to happen if there is something on the way that is going to happen he will intentionally block you for that thing to pass you by and he will never allow evil to come near your dwelling but 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 one secret is that anytime you try to forsake him and then you want to go your way he said i want to walk with him he's not your classmate don't walk with him walk in him and let him lead you don't walk with him walk in him meaning that what he wants you to do is what you do and where he wants you to go is where you want to go and when you live like that you have gotten to a point and to a certain point and that point is this now he said when you abide in me and i abide in you you will ask of whatever you want and i'm going to give it to you meaning that he is now going to saturate your system saturate your mind saturate your spirit with his way of living and when his way of living fuels you this is what is going to happen now now your way of living is just like the way he lives so anytime you demand something the purpose is good the purpose is godly it is not just that you needed something but whatever you're going to you're going to be desiring the purpose is good somebody is praying that god give me a phone phone which might not be that expensive another is praying for a house god will give the person who is, who is praying for a house he will give the house to the person and then the one who is even seeking for slippers is not getting why because the, sometimes the purpose with which we are asking for slippers it is the least of all the things god can do but your purpose behind asking the sleeper is wrong because you are dominated not by the spirit of god not by the word of god by yourself your will and the system of this life and people's thought and people's ideology and the ways of men and all that you are living like is your family wants you to be rich my family wants me to be this and everything that you are doing is just because of the family 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 god is not included in what you are doing so what is going to happen now you needed a sleeper what is the purpose sleeper i need that sleeper because of a family member and i want to attend a family meeting not any program in, in connection with god what do you think will happen to you now now somebody says god i need a house i just want to have a better place and a, a nice place now what is your purpose you see god knows that when this person gets a house any stranger can have an accommodation this house will be for my glory this house is going to be a blessing to my people even when my servants come around this person this person will accommodate them let me give him the house so you're going to realize that some people are going to say that and uh, we are all in the church and we all go to church and some of us you are suffering the rich are not seeing us the rich cannot see you because god has not recognized you the rich cannot see you because god cannot recognize you. you know what god can't recognize you because you have not acknowledged god in all your doings he said acknowledge god in all your doings and he will come and direct your path he said he's going to make the crooked path straight he said he's going to break the iron doors and the brass doors and he's going to make a way for you where there is no way listen to something now listen to something when god says i'm going to make a way where there is no way look at something now there is no way so there is no door there is no way so there is no door so look at something now if this if that direction there is no way and there is an outbreak god can make a way for you over here you can go through this world without knowing by the time you realize you are outside you say how did this happen so when the bible says he makes a way where, it is not just a common thing he makes a way is there a way here there is no way so there is no door doors are only found where ways are if there is not a way if there is no way over there there is no door so when the bible says that god makes a way where there is no way it means that that way has no door he will create a door and make that place a way for you only and he said behind the closed doors god puts the right key 